Hi, I'm Lily, this is Leon, this is Alex, and we're the Barbican Young Reviewers. Today we're going to be reviewing a series of workshops based around the life and work of Basquiat called Too Young for What? As in, when a curator asked him, don't you think you're a bit too young? He replied, too young for what? Basquiat's legacy is mould-breaking and reinvention, and Too Young For What has really tapped into his work. From the lo-fi to the high-tech, the day included music, film, performances, street art and poetry, as well as talks and workshops. But who is Basquiat and what is he known for? Imagery includes crowns, it includes bodies, and it includes punchy text that criticises commercialism and 80s culture. collaborated with Andy Warhol, Keith Haring, Robert Rauschenberg and featured the music videos of Blondie and David Bowie. He painted barefoot in an Armani suit and Jay-Z dressed up as him for Halloween. Having my image imprinted forever and ever, and ever and ever, and then ever after that. Um, basically, I'm having a Polaroid done. Um, it takes quite a while, but I feel like it's worth the effort. We're here at the Polaroid section of the Too Young For exhibition, and I think I'll start with saying it's about commitment. Whether it's a good Polaroid or a bad Polaroid, what's there is there, and you just have to deal with it. Basquiat stuff had to be permanent because at the time he was just one black man in a completely monocultural art society. What he s said had to stick and it really did with the bold shapes, the harsh colours. I feel like the Polaroid aspect of Basquiat's exhibition really got the message across that no matter what you did, whether it was good or bad, is going to stay. Okay, so we're currently at the zine making workshop and we're in a corner with load of magazines and we're hoping to make them into zines by chopping bits off of them. How did I fall asleep? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we've just been in the zine making workshop and one of the things this really alerts you to is how contextualising and decontextualising images completely changes how you feel about them. So a model's long fishnetted legs, it's something that's sexy, something that's aspirational, but cut off her torso and suddenly it's a scene from a slasher horror film. It's disturbing, it's depersonalising and you don't know how to treat it. It's the exact same thing with words as well. You can take total ownership over someone else's sentences just by crossing the first part out. A magazine becomes a zine and someone else's words become your own personalised poetry. It is the end of the day and we've listened to a binary choir, we've got our hands filthy with spray paint and we've had Polaroids taken of ourselves that will last forever. What has really surprised me about today is that just because an image is punk and raw doesn't mean that the process behind it was irreverent or slapdash. In fact, it means the opposite. What it means is that there is a careful craftsman behind it who does the delicate work so that you can experience something as being really visceral and really immediate. I feel like there's a tiny little basket in all of us. Even if it's not actual street art, everyone's doing their utmost to make every minute detail scream a billion words. Yeah, and I think what's really interesting about today is that it really well presented what Basquiat means to the world. He means youth in the city. He means challenging everything and being challenged as well. That pretty much sums it, guys. Uh, I think it's about that time. Should we downtown 81 it? <laughs>